Welcome to the Cold Conquest series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We're picking up on the 21st of April 1915. And to be completely upfront, it's been a little bit of a rough winter. You can see my uh, loyalty is down to 31%. And more importantly, my happiness has dropped to 67%. In fact, it got right down to 64% for a reason which I'll explain in a little while. And I'm getting these constant messages on loyalty now. And just to show you as well, uh, and I think this is quite important, is my average productivity is less than 70% now. And what that means is that down in this area here, uh, you can see we're now getting to a point where we are possibly starting not being able to uh, serve our uh, kind of customers. And if I come over here... I think I might have a similar problem over here. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. In fact, the, the, the main problem was up here. Now, part of it was my own fault <laughs> because I was, during the winter, I was starting to try and plan this area to get some extra workers down into our food production area here. Also, the fact that this building over here is at, is only just in range of these, but not in range of those. And another driver for this is the fact that um, I started to get a population overflow and some of them started to sprinkle into this village up here because I hadn't switched off all the permissions that prevent people from, um, allow people to move into towns. But one thing I did do, and it's quite a bad mistake actually, and I'm having to deconstruct this now. This is one of the hazards of when you actually play <laughs> in realistic mode. Because I've put a water main in, and I planned it out like that. And I knew I had to take it from here. And then for some reason, best known to whatever I was thinking about at the time, I actually connected the water main to here. And what that resulted in was the fact that I was supplying 88% um, water because what's coming from the well, which is over here, is 88% quality water. And because the substation was in here, it started to affect this area here. So, and of course that also then our media had immediate impact on our happiness. This is very how things can go wrong very quickly you can see that this building here 68 percent 63 percent so i had a massive collapse in happiness here because they had poor quality water and you can see how much it spread across this area here also that also to help the problem along is i got a um that then echoed slightly into here I'm not sure you can see here the poor quality drinking water, although it's improving again because that contaminated this. And then what that did was, um, I'm not sure if it's still working. Ah, yeah, the temperatures are recovered because it's affecting the productivity. And because it's affecting the productivity, the uh, residents here or the workers here weren't producing enough heat so i had some heat fluctuations as well and i think that's partly down to the fact that the long winters are having a bit of an effect because it makes it very difficult to plan things and i must admit the novelty of playing in these um, arctic conditions is starting to wear off a little bit the other thing i'm also having to do is i had to build a kindergarten down here we're going to need a school block here for these residents as and when they move in but hopefully we will be able to let's see the happiness has dropped again. This is crime, low government loyalty. This you can see I've got eight hundred and um eight hundred and eighty-two people now with low government loyalty. And it's kind of spreading quite seriously now. And if I if I can't turn it around, we will have a bit of a problem. But the average loyalty is still is is thirty one percent. So, and of course that is now degrading our, uh, what we call it, see 67%. We really do need to start trying to push this hard. 
I'm not sure what my radio is doing. Uh, let me just see, what is the radio pushing out? I mean, the radio is still working hard, but... <laughs> so, things could get a bit touch and go now. Um, I just want to keep an eye on the school as well. Because, of course, as the productivity drops, the impact of our educational system has a problem as well. So we are getting some very good loyalty from the students here. But you never know. I've temporarily suspended the research. Not that I really need any research at the moment. Um, so study the impact on fertilizer fields. Um, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at that research. See if there's got any benefit. Maybe I do need to do a bit of research. Uh, I, th I think this does says... I think this just opens up the gates of this research. Um, anyway. So the first thing we need to do is just get out of this winter. Arena Seklova. Again, it's mainly down in this area. And the other thing I do need to start thinking about also is crime. I mean, we're technically we're nowhere near the crime rate, but I think crime, again, when you've got low loyalty, you can have a an impact on crime. Yeah, you know, so we are getting more and more crime starting to spread and crime does have a, a negative impact on your loyalty and happiness um so we've got four sit luckily they most of the crime yeah you know, we've had uh yeah you can see the happiness here is 56 percent i've got a feeling we're going to need to work on crime the trouble is i'm not sure what we got police and police stables here and we got Tudor police the problem's going to be is that if I start putting in crime that means we've also got to put in a courthouse and more importantly we've also got to put in a a prison uh like that and the trouble is I don't have the surplus population at the moment okay the happiness is turned round a little bit more okay we've got a fire now <laughs> oh great we've got a fire in the kindergarten yep but we're okay here Anyway, just get back up to here. Um, right, we've now got, we've now removed the pipe. So what I should be able to do now is put the correct pipe in to there. Because I do need the fresh water over this area. Uh, yeah, I'll pick up these guys. Actually, I'm going to get everybody working on that. I think I just need this connected ASAP. Not so sure why that wasn't allocated. This is now being built, so what we can do now is bring you out the back there like that. What that should do is just this one building here okay we need these guys working on here right we're now on the 15th of May we got a tractor here 
Happiness is too low now. Okay, we got... Uh, I covered all these buildings. Right, I'm just going to pause. Yeah, I can't understand. I know the we don't have that much accommodation left in our in kind of our towns, but um, kind of a not sure why they suddenly want to kind of move in over here because there's nothing here for them. I think that should be all of it. One there, just make sure. Oops, drink you over there. This is another interesting characteristic of the game. This is one of the reasons why I try and normally try and keep this under strict control. Rather than filling one building up, the game tends to just uh, kind of spread randomly scattergun residents or in, in different locations across the map. And then that kind of causes a bit of a problem. And um, what we'll do is we're... And just to show you, if we come to here, come here, you see we've only got enough space left in here. And because everything, all the other accommodation here is now full up. And over here, uh, we've got space there. So you can see we're running, kind of running out of space here. Um, no one lives here. So we've got space for 100 people here at the moment. Which was there. Right, so we... I think we got no choice here. we got... Um, I think we got to start thinking about courthouse and a prison. My instinct is for a courthouse over here. Uh, I think we, we put the courthouse about here that's got everything connected up to it so we put because of course we only need one courthouse per, to cover the whole map the same as we only want one prison um, we could put the prison here the only question is I've got a historic jail here. Probably that's got no sanitation. Great. We've got to get it in range of sanitation. Well, I suppose back in the past they used to have the jails in the in the center of town. Put the jailhouse here. It's quite, it's gonna need a lot. No, I think that looks no, it's way too dominant. I don't want that. Um, let's put in a that's a little bit smaller. I think that's a little bit more in keeping with the scale of what we're building along here. So I think if we just put you there, I mean, it's not going to be major. Um, we put the we put the police station. I'm going to tuck it on this corner here. Yeah, I think we can get 
on the police station just out there. I think what we will do is save a bit of time. Is we we'll go for mud roads here. I mean, eventually, as the town gets bigger, what we will do is um, what we actually will do is uh, I think what we will do is run a put path out there, put path to there. So we've got to put some garbage collection in as well, which is quite important. Have a look at this. Yeah, we'll just drop them up on there. Demolish that. Put a path just to there. Of course, we're going to have to do the same for the jail. I think what we will do is is put another one just here like that. So what we've got here is a small jail, a courthouse and police stables <laughs> and then what we're going to put over here is I'm gonna put some police stables in over here. Yeah, stop telling me my loyalty is low. It's still 31%. Uh, we're nowhere near out of the out of the problems. Um, I don't, don't really want to use this space because I'd like to keep that for some form of accommodation. So. Uh, mind you, if I put that there, actually, if I put it, we come in very, very close. Because there's no sanitation there. Oh, great. Actually, what I could do is just tuck that in like that. Just had an idea. Uh, run you around the back here. Do you have any waste collection coverage? Yes, you do. To there. I doubt very much if that will reach there. No. Okay. To let that run. Get the road crew. So I don't think you're. Oh, you've already picked it up. And that's good. I mean, for all intents and purposes, down here, I have suspended the uh, our construction in this area for the moment. One thing I do want to check percent wear and tear right next thing we need to do is check our building maintenance we're at 29 percent at the moment miracle maintenance i think we've got control our entire map actually we've got a couple of vehicles that are coming up for repair in there just want to make sure our repair depot. Yep. So we're looking good. Just want to get back here. We're now on the 29th of May. Apologies for kind of leaping all over the map, but so we've actually completed our harv our sowing from here and here. So hopefully what we're going to see is whether these are actually going to do any necessary work. 
Um, we got some alcohol coming in, which is being stored in there. Who stopped production? Oh, great. I've got real problems over here. I oh, know there's people coming back in again. I mean, I could supplementary, I could put a supplementary supply in using wind turbines, but I'm not really wanting to do that just at the moment. Anyway, back over to here. Um, we're down to 2 million. How much money are we losing now? Exports. We are exporting fertilizer, construction waste, clothes, um, some alcohol now. But uh, see what our imports are: electronics, food, steel. Let's see, because of course we are going to need to deliver alcohol. I can't remember. Do I have a pub in here? Um, filter buildings. Where are you? Okay. A local pub there. All rated vehicles. Right. Um, we. Oh, great. Um, right. I'm going to have to change this. What? Well, who's delivering the food? Where's the, it's, it's one of these actually, isn't it? That's fuel distribution. That's the farm. This is shop distribution. Right. What I'm going to do is we're going to put, oh, you're already on there. I think I set you up already. Where are you? Right. You're going to pick up alcohol. Um, where's the truck? And I want you to go to there. And once you're in here, we can then Okay, let me just wait for him to get Where are you? Here he is. And then what he will do to begin with is deliver the the food. Actually, we've got food and alcohol now. Trouble is, I'm running ahead of the population, and this is a major cause for concern. How is our productivity? Still 67%. Um, yeah, the crime and low loyalty is having um, quite a major effect now. Let's just see what the loyalty actually is. Thirty-two, thirty-three. The averages are right across the map. Let's see what the average loyalties are here. I don't think we can expand any more now until we've actually got these loyalties fixed. Um, so we're down for a little bit of a grind. Now we are producing alcohol here is what we're exporting this is our alcohol exportation plant here i would like to expand it to food but i don't feel that i can really do that at the moment 
I'm kind of thinking. How's the birth rate at the moment? Here we are. It's a sewage tank overflowing, great. Um, again, I don't think these guys... Actually, it's this one, isn't it? Um, yeah, 125. The problem I've got now is that we've got... If I show you here... Is this is in range of water... But it's not in range of sewer. Because our sewer line is over here. And of course what that means is that these people are. This is what another problem that you can get. That what's happening here is these are. Um, Ninety-six percent. What is that? Are you actually in range? Yep. Let me just try something. I think there was still some contamination in here. So what by holding, clicking and holding this, what you do is, is you flush the water out of the tank. So the way you want to do it is look at it. Yeah, uh, we've got a problem here. Uh, um, oh, this is getting a bit dire. But I can't think of... Got 17 people starving. Who's short of food now? I think we've got leakage again into... Our towns. Let's have a look. Nope. Yep. <sighs> yeah, we've still got a so I'm not seeing anyone else about food. Uh, it says 17 people there. Although you've got to remember is that um, what does is it tells you come back over here. We put that. Okay. Now we have got food and alcohol. If we can get more workers into here with more productivity. Right, these guys are now clearing out the cistern. So that should I think this is Okay, yep. Stop. Where are you now? Where's the... Yeah, we're, we're still getting the odd person coming in. Right, we still don't have any workers coming in here, but what I would like... Oh, wow. I don't want that. Um, that's bad news. I can't afford to do that. Then you made that mistake as well. I'm making too many mistakes. We get the groundworks on those because what I would like to do is get building with no power supply. So this is just outside the range of a power supply. I don't really want to run another power supply out here, but what I could do is we do have uh, let me just look at power plants. 
Um, you have a no, no, 1900s windmill here. We put you there. What's this involved in? Okay. Now we don't need that just at the moment because the, all these guys are going to do is make planks. We don't have the workforce anyway, but if I plan that, um, because the main reason I researched the windmills is the fact that we need the path. The only way I can feel that we're going to get power into here is by actually using windmills to begin with, especially over here. But for the moment, what we've got to do is sort out our economy and try and make some money. Um, yeah, loyalty too low. How's our economy now? So we are exporting a little bit of fertilizer. We are got some alcohol there. Problem is we do need to get everything more stable before we go into another winter because otherwise we could have a complete collapse and then life will be fun. Uh, if I could just get this loyalty up. Uh, I'm going to take you off of that. We're going to build, do the foundation, but I don't want police in there until we've got the courthouse built. So you can build the foundations, but that's about it. Is there any way? So we've got no unemployment at the moment. Since we got people who can't study in university. Let me just look here at 30%. Okay. Is that because we're doing the research up here? No. Nope. I would guess that the reason we can't do anything else is we've got people there are probably out of range of the university because the university is here. So probably a few people over here now can't get to the university. I mean, we could set up a bus service, but I don't really want to do that. I'm quite happy. I mean, not everybody needs a university education. As long as they've got a school education. Right, we do need you on that. Um... So we are producing our own food and we are working this way. Um, kind of, if I could produce more food, I'd be a little bit happier about the fact that we can, uh, we will then be able to, uh, how can you say, um, put some more effort into um, producing some meat. How are we doing here? All right, we're on the 5th of July at the moment. What we got up here? Uh, I think we need to build that monument. Oops. We need that monument finished to try and lift our loyalty. How is our average loyalty now? It's kind of stabilised around 32, 34%, I think. Uh, got 48% there, so got 29% there. 
so I think we are kind of we haven't really fixed the problem but we have stabilized it it's probably the, the best way to kind of say it. and we our happiness is now increasing drinking alcohol stroke heart attack we could put a second university in for health but um, it's just kind of a little bit stuck Um, it's just kind of what we need is growth I mean I could bring in some more but these are out of range of Let's see if there's any space here um, so we've got no free space now and our only accommodation expansion is here so I suppose what I should do is start thinking about how what's the accommodation over here we've still got a little bit of space for accommodation here unspecified but we got no unemployment at the moment Uh, let me just see if I if I put some residences in here. Tudor Street. Um, let's look at some residential. See, these have got no sanitation. You could put in a, a bomb. What I'm doing now is just putting in some provisional planning. Or oh, I think if we, oops, better turn that off. Um, if I put in there, I think what we're going to have to do here is do a little bit of development. Um, there's a Siberian house with 14 in there. Um, you've got 12. We've got these here, which... Um, let me just see if I... Yeah, I think... What I'm going to do, um, let me just check mods. I think uh, what we're going to do is demolish these. What I'm going to do is take you off there, move you into there, and we're going to set this to just going to clear this whole area here. We're just going to demolish this so we can redevelop it. I think that might be a better solution. It's getting a little bit too close to here, but we're just going to have to learn to live with a little bit of pollution. 66% uh, I think we're just going to have to try and sort the crime out see we're kind of producing maximum capabilities but um, I think what we could, probably could do is reduce the workforce a smidge here down a bit So if we can get more workers in there producing more clothes, it's the clothes that we're going to need to be able to make more money. So out of spite, <laughs> I'm sure the game does it deliberately just to annoy me. Um, you're too far away. Um, 
I don't know, they can get there. But we need to push workers into here. Right. Get the groundwork done on that. Right, this can go because we don't, it's now emptied, so we can remove you. And what I'd like here is another distribution office. Um, if it would fit. Actually, I think what we'll do is the jump. Yeah, well, if we put you there like that, get the road crew on that. Right, we got remove you now as well. This was turns the three. So we got a horse feeding yard there. Horse feeding yard there. This is where all our main activity is. How are we doing over here? Um, all related vehicles because our dumper where are you you're going to the farmstead we got I'm um, just one trouble is that this I'm trying to think of a way that I can do this so that I can because we got some fertilizer here that we could export if we wanted to but of course we got all this waste that we had which we were um kind of putting this way i think what we might need to do is actually start thinking about a proper waste processing plant but at the same time i don't really want to commit to that just at the moment yeah, these guys have got virtually non-existent loyalty. I think I'm going to need a monument down here. Oh, that's big. Um, um, we're going to remove these fields. Uh, they're not going to be very useful, so... And what that would do then is allow me to try to think of where I can fit this in. It'd be nice if I could put it there, but it might be too far away. This is the one where we need the work. Um, I think we're going to put just put you literally right next door, like that. Um, by um, I think we'll start building in here there. I think we're getting more crops out of this and it's encouraging that we've actually got uh, that field these fields are actually being harvested so technically we've got enough space for another um, medium field where I'm going to put it I haven't got a clue but um, because uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether we can actually get this harvested now, if I remember correctly, a medium field will produce 98 tons of crops. So this should produce about 150. And so should that one. So we should get about 
200 and some odd tons of crops from here. Okay, where did he go? Oh, no, he's back here. Loading up again. So, why are you shipping? So you're taking 6.5 tons of crops to the border. Exports. It's made us 11,000. So we've made a very, very small profit. I think this is going to be the way we're going to have to work, I think. Um, right, I do need to set the limit on the teachers here. Because we do need to get this loyalty up as high as possible. I think we are making progress. I think maybe if we can... Right... So I'm, I've definitely run out of time now. So let's have a quick recap. Prime is having an effect on happiness. And the, and this is the problem where we could live with the effect of crime if our happiness hadn't fallen. Uh, what we do need to do is actually try and start pushing that ha happiness back up again. The only way we're going to do that is to deal with crime. And if we come in here, yeah, our productivity is way too low and yeah um, i mean if i go back yeah and i'll show you the loyalty now you can see that the loyalty has literally crashed within two years from 14 uh, percent. it stabilized about 34 percent. now it's dropped down and then we're kind of bumping along the bottom now we do need to fix that um food happiness again crashed at the end of 1914 from 74% and this is always the problem is that once you lose it it's very difficult to get it back health fluctuates in fact what you're probably seeing there is the effect of summer and winter um, close our education there we've got five unemployed workers where four unemployed workers where are those unemployed workers? Um, just going to have a quick look. I'm not seeing any... Oh, we've got some employed workers over here. Okay, oh. Yeah, that's a mistake. I should have fixed that a little while ago. Um, just, just see if we got the similar problem over here. We can't afford to have people sat around doing nothing anyway this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting in the next part we will play through what's left of our very short summer try and work on trying to get some crime prevention up and running as well we are slowly getting rid of these buildings here so until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming